Immortal Rulers of Quake Clan by Irock Skunk, uh, also known as Cobalt 60. It's a uh, only instance I can tell you I've ever seen of a water park being built inside Quake 2. It's a beautiful summer day, and so uh, I thought what better way to enjoy than to go to the water park today. running this thing. That guy, hello. This is a stride run water park. I don't do well with water. I'm like a cat. Okay. Makes me a little nervous that I'm locked in here. And we are off. Okay. Oh man. Warning. Enter with caution. Wonder why. Oh, because we're going straight up. Oh boy. Okay. Oh man, even higher. Great. Awesome. Whoa, okay. This is so bad. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh! Oh man. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's like a cold. Turn around, danger ahead. Turn around, danger ahead. Oh. <laughs> That's great. That is so much fun. Don't you want to go uh, on a Strag Run water park ride by uh, the Immortal Rulers of Quake? There's a lot more maps to explore. Let's see what. <laughs> Oh my god, they're like, nope, you're going back in, buddy. Immortal rulers of Quake Clan, Iraq. Some of the most creative and prolific map makers in one clan that the Quake 2 community has ever seen. These folks truly produced some of Quake 2's most innovative and amazing maps. Iraq Clan was formed on September 19, 2000 by Terry and Robin Emerson, aka Iraq Venom and Iraq Vixen. Iraq was created based on the simple idea of bringing a group of people together online who shared the same love for the game as we did and who were looking for that special ingredient that a lot of other Quake 2 clans fail to offer. Iraq plays almost exclusively on MSN Zone, but we also like to hang out on GameSpy from time to time. We are not just an average Quake 2 clan, we are a group of close friends who have formed a very tight-knit family, and Robin and I are very proud to say that we are part of such an excellent organization. Iraq originally began as a deathmatch only clan, but has since branched out into many other Quake 2 mods, including OSP Tourney Rail, Weapons of Destruction, and recently into the Quake 3 world. The clan contains some very talented players, especially in the Rail, WAD, and Quake 3 field, Map and Skin Makers, as well as many members with a strong sense of computer knowledge. Iraq is not just about skills, but attitude as well. We feel that we have put together one of the best groups of players out there today and we are proud to say that they are our teammates. Remember, if you're not having fun playing this game, then you're definitely doing something wrong. Take care everyone, and we will see you on The Zone. Terry and Robin Emerson, AKA Venom and Vixen, 
the immortal rulers of Quake Clan. The archival record was far from complete. Pictures of the maps were beautiful, but where were all of these maps? How would it be that we could actually enjoy them again? Well, thanks to the Internet Archive, I was able to find some of the Clan Iraq maps. Another question, what was this mysterious zone where the clan had played? It's time to zone out! Check out the Internet Gaming Zone! And play multiplayer games against people across town, across the country, around the world! Sign up now at www.zone.com Looking for other people with your same basic skill levels? Go meet your match in the zone match www.zone.com Zone out! The Internet Gaming Zone from Microsoft! No! What was this WAD X mod, Weapons of Destruction? I turned to YouTube for answers, but the video that I found showcasing the gameplay raised more questions. Y'all be going on vacation? See, the thing is, if you about to be up off this bitch, check it. Peep Delta. We be flying all over this bitch. Let me ask you something. You fin to raise up and get your travel on? From the interior to the exterior. You got to get your posterior in one of these big ass planes. Sh dog. You lay in the cut straight sitting on your ass and getting your drink on and your snack on while we floss and fly this mofo all over this bitch. East coast, west coast, it don't matter. Nia will get you to your hoe and back lickety splits. No sh Then you be back at your crib chilling with a flat spliff thinking we were some crazy ass angel. Hell. These fat, round, thick-ass vessels run up in the sky so deep, it be crying. Yeah, you thought it was rain. So bring a towel, because at Delta, it's laid out like that. Call one of these fly-ass Delta coochies and make all them punk-ass co-workers of yours catch the vapors as you be off and about. You going? We fly you there. You been? We done already flew up in there. We got you covered like a jimmy hat. At Delta, we loves us some flying, and it be shown like a mother... Well, whatever. The important thing about the immortal rulers of Quake Clan are the Quake 2 maps. First up, by Fury, we have a map dedicated to Sweets, his clanmate, in Clan Iraq, the immortal rulers of Quake. This is by Fury. Uh, what was one of the guys that was uh, web admin for uh, immortal rulers of Quake? And this was dedicated to uh, Sweets, who was one of the gamers in the clan. And um, it's called Sweets Rail Palace. And let me tell you why I like it. Green and ramps. Really had me at ramps, but... Now let's look at more of the amazing maps by Ira Irock Skunk, also known as Cobalt 60. This is pretty cool. This is the, uh, the Dark Ferris Wheel. Um, the only Ferris wheel I've ever seen in a Quake 2 map. And guess what? It works. He doesn't care. I'll tell you what, I do. I don't think I've ever seen this before in a Quake 2 map. And um, this was almost lost to histories, but thank you so much, Cobalt60, for making such a great innovation in a Quake 2 map. This is called Dark Ferris, and it's a Ferris wheel map from Irock Skunk, also known as Cobalt60. And we are in the Ferris wheel, man. I'm gonna jump out. Um, and it's really cool to find out more about this map maker because even this uh, map is super creative featuring stuff that I've never seen in Quake 2 before. This is Cobalt DM-13 um, and this is uh, Operation Nightfall copter version and it's the only Quake 2 map that I've ever seen that features um, helicopters that are uh, taking off and landing on the map while you're playing. Many a fun time has been had by uh, us in Rail Wars by hooking up onto these helicopters and shooting each other. And 
it's unknown if if I'm controlling it in some way, like by what direction I'm facing or by doing something. I'm sure that there is some mechanism because uh, these guys were just so amazing. The Immortal Rulers of Quake. They had that name for a reason. Never seen stuff like this in the map before. That's the end of the helicopter. Mission Night Storm Assignment B. And it's much smaller, still kind of featuring the same uh, rough rock cutout wall as a barrier to the map. Um, and it's a uh, rampy kind of 3D terrain, although not um, like terrain mapped 3D terrain. This is also by Ivox Skunk. Wait, Skunk. Uh, also went by the name Cobalt 60. It's much smaller now. Uh, the fun the extra ground. There's a little case over here. This is a map called Come to Bed, which is uh, also by the Immortal Rulers of Quake. This is a cool map because it features a bed that's bouncy. There's a flip phone, which you don't see anymore. There's uh, pillowcases that have dope fish on them. So I zoom in on those. And um, shelves full of curiosities, such as a speaker that's bumping some music right there. Some books. This is a really neat map uh, by Iraq Skunk for the clan Rulers of Quake. Got the reading lights up there. People have done bedroom maps before for Quake 2, but I've never seen a bed so bouncy. And uh, pretty sure that's a Sealy Posturepedic mattress. This one is um, called Border Crossing. And it's all about uh, basically trying to make it from one side of the road. In this case, there's like six lanes of highway and I think a single uh, or double uh, rail uh, line obstructing your path. And there's a lot of traffic, so you have to be very careful. Squeeze like a ripe grape, but very cool to see all the vehicular traffic in a uh, quick two map, and a little bit like Frogger. Uh, very well done, very creative. Let's switch gears and check out some of the maps from iRock Burrito, who actually had his own mapping page on Planet Quake under the name Burrito Master. iRock Burrito would have been his name in the clan. Um, but he was notable for um, making a lot of maps, most of which we don't have. Uh, so if anybody has Burrito Masters maps, it would be great for you to reach out and we'll get them up on the server so people can keep playing them. Uh, we have a few of them though. This one is based on Jack the Ripper. It's called Bloodscream.bsp. And um, I really enjoy the sounds of this map. Kind of has an action quake uh, vibe to it. <laughs> nothing bad happens in here. Rock Burrito, or Burrito Master, was a pretty well-known prolific mapper, um, noted for his creativity, uh, even by um, being hosted on Planet Quake. There was a planetquake.com backslash burrito master subdomain where um, you could, at that time, download a lot of these maps. Unable to find them there, um, even using the Internet Archive, but I was able to recover a couple of them. This one is called Sick Alien by Burrito Master, and the file name is Sick Alien. BSP. This was made for the Immortal Rulers of Quake Clan. 
It's a real map. It's small. There's translucent textures. There's jump pads. There's a spiral staircase. And uh, really beautiful green uh, coloring. Great use of uh, really small size, but super playable map. This looks dangerous. Trippy man. Uh, this is called Sick Alien. It's a very small rail map. Man, I would love it if somebody has WWF, the wrestling ring map by Burrito Master. We don't have that one, but man, does it look cool. There's like under uh, Undertaker textures and um, some of the other wrestlers. I'm not a big um, knowledge person, but people that know the WWF, they would love to see that one. So if anybody wants to share that, please let me know. This is Sick Alien. Burrito Master um, actually made some jump maps. He made um, Bean Jump, uh, Pirate Jump, and this map, which is called Spiral Jump, by Burrito Master. And uh, I'll just quickly take it, take you for a little whirl on it because um, not everybody knows this, but I have really great um, jump skills. You know what? Though? I'll just use the hook. tell you what we'll come back to it we'll circle back in a little bit we'll we'll spiral back to it let's jump onto another map it's a fun one though it's fun it's fun I rock vixen one of the founders of the immortal rulers of quake this is the cauldron which is a rail map by vixen what I was playing last night after I um, after I realized that Vixen is no longer with us. She passed away about 11 years ago, and um, would really like to get more of her maps. This one is a lot of fun. It has a very subtle curvature coming up from the flat center, and that makes it really um, a joy to move on this map. This is the map that Beaver uh, mirrored last night. yes but it's a beautiful expression of uh, simplicity and, and how sometimes you know it's just all about the gameplay and I could tell you that this map would be fun to go balls to the wall railing on for sure but much respect to Vixen for leaving so much cool content for others to have fun with I mean it really did make a difference uh, to strangers that you'll never meet have respect for you because of what you did in Quake 2 and the passion that you brought to the game is evident and so it's uh, my honor to make a movie about this clan and it's a reminder that none of us are immortal even the rulers of Quake Uh, I don't know how to quake map myself, but um, it's been so much fun playing their maps uh, that I want to do something to celebrate them. So this is dedicated to Vixen and to the immortal rulers of Quake Clan.
Ah! <laughs> 